easily one of the most despised tasks in the world of 3D is mapping. The process of applying seamless, undistorted maps to your models is very tedious. You spend a lot of time working UVWs around to try and remove all those distortions, to try and have the most contiguous mapping coordinates you can with the least number of seams. And of course, this gets more difficult the more limbs you add, the more unusual geometry is added. And so what we wanted to do in 3S Max 8 was to make this process easy. So we've done a complete revamp of the Unwrap UVW modifier, and in there we've added a number of new features. The main one I'll be showing is pelt mapping. Now if I just go here and isolate the upper torso, we're going to start with this. Now what you'll notice is these blue lines. These are what we call pelt seams. And what that's going to do is define how this model is pulled apart to create the 2D mapping coordinates. So to start off with, all I have to do is simply pick on a polygon inside of the geometry. I'm going to expand the selection of faces out to the pelt seams. So it's picked out all those areas. And now all I have to do is say pelt it with an initial mapping coordinate aligned to Z, edit. Now what you see is the pelt stretcher. And this is actually kind of the, a, a rack with a bunch of springs on it that pulls all the seams apart. Now I'm just going to expand this just a little bit, something like so. Of course, I can also rotate or adjust it to get a nice lineup. And now I just say simulate pelt pull. And you can see the model just come apart. Now the beauty is, is this is extremely robust and powerful. Even if I took all of my stretcher and spun it 180 degrees and say simulate, you can see it actually will pull it back together. Very quick and easy. Now this is all great. I can also relax it just to bring it back more into the shape it should have. If I want to, I can even change the shape of the stretcher simply by pulling and pushing and pulling points. So for instance, if I wanted the arm points here to go further out, I could just pull on them just like so, and hit simulate pelt pull again, and now you can see it pulls the arms out further. And let's just do another relax. Now this is all well and good, but if you actually look at my texture map, and I'll just move this out of the way, you can see that there is distortion. And this is because the 2D distances of the faces in my mapping coordinates are not the same as the three-dimensional distances of my edges. So well, how do I deal with this? Well, we've added another new tool which is two new algorithms to the relax dialog. If I go into relax, we have a relax by edge angles and relax by face angles. And what this allows us to do is actually relax the UVW map so it comes more in line with the spacing of the polygons on my geometry. So I simply just dial this up a little bit. And I'm just going to zoom in a little so you can see this better. And you can see distortion right here, very long polygons here, very small ones, so the checkers are different. Just apply, and you can see that fix itself. And before you know it, your geometry is all clean. So that's just how easy it is. Now let me show you setting up the seams and everything. All right, so let's just exit isolation mode. And to show the next step, I'm just going to use the jacket mesh. And again, we're going to isolate that object, just like so. And I'm going to turn on the unwrap. Now you notice we've already set up a seam for one sleeve, and now I want to show you how we can create these seams from scratch. So to do this, all I do is go into my face selection mode, simply say I want to do a point-to-point -point seam. Now I can also convert edge selections into seams if I want, but I find this is actually the easiest way. Simply go through and pick your starting point, and then just start to draw from point-to-point -point around your geometry. It'll simply trace the closest fit to where your points are. So if I pick here, it automatically walks through the edges to get there. And we'll just do that, connect to here. Now I just need to do under the arm. So I just simply do that. And there we go. We've created ourselves a seam around the sh sleeve. And now let's go through and very quickly map this entire jacket. So I'm just going to jump out, pick on a polygon, say I want to expand, pelt it, do a best align, go to pelt map. Now one of the things you often might want to do is just readjust your uh, stretcher just to make this more accurate. And now just simulate. There we go, relax, and that one's done. Let's just turn off that background, make it a little easier to see. And now we go through and pick on another one. And again, ex expand, pelt, best align, edit. And once again, we're just going to rotate this a little bit, simulate pelt pull just like so. Again, relax heavy, and that one's done. Now all you have to do is pick the body, so again, just going to expand, pelt, 
This one we're going to do on a line to Z since it's a little more accurate. Edit that map. And the first thing is my stretcher's kind of the other way around, so I'm just going to rotate that. So let's just try, say, there. Simulate pelt pull. There we go. And in this case, I probably need a little more space to work with, so let's just do that. And I just keep hitting button until I get it what I want. And let's just do a relax heavy and have it simulate again. So there we go. We've now got this all laid out. And I can just close that down as well. And in this case, I do want to shrink this. So let's just go through and scale down that one piece to make it a little smaller. Now simply select all the pieces. Go into Tools. Pack the UVs. There we go. And if I go through and just look at the checker on the geometry, we can see that there's a little bit of distortion, so I'm just going to go in and again do the relax dialog. Just dial that up a little bit, hit apply. That should remove any distortion we have. The last thing you want to check, of course, is to make sure you don't have too many overlapping uh, UVs. So in order to do that, I can simply go through and say select overlap. So here are the ones that it's found immediately, and I can just go in and say expand, expand. And then I can go up to Tools, Relax, Dialog, Relax by Face Centers, hit Apply, and that'll clean up those problems. Now the last thing I might want to do is, of course, render this out so that I have a map of my UVs that I can take into Photoshop or some other tool. This is probably one of the most requested features for mapping. So what I'm going to do is go in, Render UVW Template, and I'm going to say 800 by 800. And here you can see I can now just hit Render. And there is my map, all set up and ready to go. A couple of extra options in here, however. Instead of rendering as a normal template, I can also do to normal map. So here it's actually showing me now the actual direction of the faces in 3D that these are applied to. It makes it a little easier to see when you have geometry facing the other way as it would happen inside the mouth. Uh, you'll also notice that I have little areas, like for instance this face is probably flipped, so I can go in and fix that. Over here we've got a little red spot, and this is actually showing an overlap face that I've missed, so I can easily go in and fix that as well. Not only can I do the normal map, but I also have the ability to do a solid shaded and a lit shaded, so it actually uses the lighting in the scene to shade my geometry. So that's just a quick look at what's going on now in Unwrap UVW. I think it's pretty obvious how much quicker I can actually do unwrapping now. A lot of the tasks that I just performed would have taken me at least an hour or two to do by hand, but now with the pelt mapping and the relax system, I can do them almost immediately.